What's up everybody? Uh, today we're gonna be grafting some citrus trees. And this is a, a Murcot tangerine tree. And grafting is when you take um, you take a piece of one tree of a variety that you like and then you take a rootstock from seed and you put the scion or the piece of the plant that you want on top and so it's basically a way of duplicating a certain breed of citrus that you like now this seedling was is either a lemon or a lime a local lemon or lime and we're going to be doing a graft technique which um, is usually 99% successful because you're not immediately chopping a piece off of your plant and trying to get it to take onto the other plant. I'm gonna leave them together for a while. So there's two rootstocks actually healing the bond instead of just one rootstock trying to heal itself. All right, so first I'm gonna take this pot and put it on top this other pot. I'm gonna lean it sideways and try to line it up it up to where it will be a good fit. Make sure that it's pretty stable. Okay, so that, that seems pretty good. I'm gonna go with that. See it's braced up against the trunk of the pot. And I might reinforce it later, but for right now this is good. Mm -hmm. You see here, this is gonna line up. So here on this trunk, you can see where this tangerine tree was originally grafted. That's the original graft union. Somebody took rootstock and attached it, attached a piece of this Murcot tangerine right there. And it grew, it grew out and grew up. So all of this above that line is Murcot tangerine. So if anything were to sprout below this line on any kind of grafted tree, including mango, avocado, citrus, you want to cut that off because that's your rootstock growing back. And you don't want that because that's going to be a variety that you, it's probably not going to be that great. Um, all right, so now I'm going to start, make our cuts. First, I'm going to trim these down get all of the miscellaneous stuff out of the way and then I'm going to start cutting. So I'm going to pull it back up for a second. And we don't need anything down low. So I'm going to cut away all miscellaneous stuff. Any offshooting branches. All of the leaves. All right, and I want to leave some leaves up top so that will help with the healing process because there'll still be a want for the plant to transfer water and nutrients up and down so that's good right there and i'm going to trim some of the leaves off of the donor plant just to make space and i'm going to leave a few of those at the end also Lean our plant back over. Get a good, good match on these. I want these to match up as much as possible. So 
so that seems pretty good. And I am going to start start the cutting. And I'm gonna probably cut from here from here to here. Match that up right there. Okay, and for the binding process, I like to use Teflon tape. Uh, you can use grafting tape, of course, uh, but this works very well. Teflon tape, plumbing tape. All right, I'm gonna spray the area with a little bit of neem oil, very light solution of neem oil just to clean it down, clean the dirt off of it, and kill any fungus, bacteria in the, in the area. That's good. And so, I want to match, match things up. So get a sharp blade. Um, I like to use razor blades sometimes, but a sharp knife will do. And I'm just making a wound. And you can see that. Cutting into the green skin. I'm gonna go a little further up. Okay, there you see, this is the rootstock plant. I have a nice open wound right there. I'm gonna expose the cambium layer. That's what I'm doing, the green outside layer. I don't wanna dig too far into the, into the inner, inner trunk of the stem. up, match them together and cut the same area. Sometimes citrus stems will triangulate a little bit and it's kind of good to use, use the flat side. Because you're taking off a large, uh, you know, a large area of cambium layer. You have a nice flat, flat resting area for them to meet. Really just trying to maximize the service area where the two plants are touching. So I have my Two cuts made, now I'm gonna take some Teflon tape. I'm actually gonna bind the two together in two spots at the bottom. One down low. There 
make sure things are lined up. Nice tight binding on there. Okay, that's perfect. So now I'm going to start the wrapping process. to wrap this as tight as you possibly can. First, you wanna press, press your two wounds together. And then I just start wrapping the Teflon tape and I pull extremely tight with every wrap. It's kinda of tough with this camera right here, but I'm gonna get it done. And along the way, you might have to readjust it to keep it lined up together. And I'm gonna keep that one little area open and that way will be able to check on the healing process without leaving much exposed. You know, most of the times when you graft something, you completely cover up the scion to keep it humid in there. But that's when you cut, cut it totally off of the plant. But this method, both, uh, get this leaf off of here. Both sides still have a, 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 a rootstock providing moisture to it. So there's not as much of a need to cover it up. Plus it's very humid down here. If you live in a dry area, you might wanna cover up the whole area. keep going because I want to close it off well up top I'll make sure it does super tight uh, come back down tuck it in Pull tight. And there we have it. And so you want to secure secure your pot so it doesn't 
doesn't fall off, put it in a safe place where it won't get knocked around. And now we have to wait. We probably have to wait about two weeks. And in two weeks, we're gonna cut this branch right here and pull it away. And then we're gonna cut the top of this one off. And so tangerine will be growing now on this rootstock. So uh, hit the subscribe button and hit the notifications so you can check out when I come out with part two so we can see how it came out. Hope you enjoyed this little video and talk to everybody later. Peace.